Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sandhan Tarika from IT Faculty, University of Morocco. I will be presenting the final year research project of Team Vista, improving the user experience in Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is a major community-based question and answering platform. The quality of the questions in the Stack Overflow is an important factor to be considered before posting a question. Rapid increase of unanswered questions has also become a critical issue. Despite all the comments, disregarding the useful comments in Stack Overflow is need to be considered. The huge volume of low quality questions, unanswered questions and comments have made Stack Overflow an unfriendly environment. More quality questions gain higher user experience for question askers as well as moderators in community question answering platform. It is important to see why the questions remain unanswered to help the moderators to easily control the site. Effective retrieval of the information can be made possible for the users through the identification of useful comments. The aim of this project is to research the possible approaches to enhance the user experience in Stack Overflow by analyzing the quality level of questions, investigating the reasons for the unanswered questions and exploring useful comments posted in Stack Overflow. The objectives are to compare and contrast existing techniques to analyze question quality, unanswered questions and useful comments. Identify the most suitable methodology to analyze the quality, reasoning out unanswered questions and exploring useful comments. Evaluating the expanded feature set can improve the quality level analyzer methods suggested in the available literature. To cluster the extracted features to visualize the results to investigate the reasons for unanswered questions. Finding the means of determining the usefulness of stack overflow comments and classifying the identified comments to useful comment categories. The following modules are taken into consideration under this research, the quality level analyzer, analyzing the reasons for unanswered questions and exploration of useful comments in Stack Overflow. Let's see the first module of quality level analyzer. In Stack Overflow community question and answering platform, sometimes we have to wait for a long time to get a proper question answer for a question posted in Stack Overflow. And some questions are never answered. Huge effort has to be put to maintain the question quality in Stack Overflow. This is the conceptual diagram of a quality level analyzer module. In this approach, the question quality of the query questions that are aimed for posting in Stack Overflow is decided as very good, good, bad, or very bad. The Stack Overflow user can input a question at the segmentation process. Questions are grouped under the domain wise and give relevant prediction path. All the unnecessary details from question is removed in the pre-processing stage while NLP based in techniques. In the extraction unit, collecting affected features from clean questions and finally, the random forest algorithm uh, predict the model gives the quality level. The evaluation techniques uh, using confusion metrics is carried out and the accuracy level comparison of the results are shown in the table and according to the above table, results feature sets can be gained more accurate quality output. Still, random forest algorithm can be used to generate better prediction model even using extended feature set. Let's move to the second module, analyzing the reasons for unanswered questions. Significant amounts of unanswered questions exist within the huge bulk of questions in the Stack Overflow. This has become an issue for the developers while finding the correct answers for the bugs or issues. A delay in finding the answer for a question is created due to the existence of huge number of unanswered questions. Hence, it can reduce the popularity of the Q&A site to some extent. And as the approach of this module, first of all, uh, sampling the Stack Overflow questions to get unanswered questions from Stack Overflow data dump using qualitative 
analysis was done. Extracting features from the title of questions and tags using NLP-based approaches and pre-processing by cleaning data. Application of clustering algorithm to cluster the features fed into the model and finally visualizing the results and interpret the reasons for the questions for remaining unanswered. This is the conceptual diagram of uh, analyzing the reasons for unanswered questions module. 5,000 questions were, uh, from Stack Overflow was extracted, which were posted 10 years ago in 2009, 2010, and 2011 through Stack Exchange API using the following query. Then the 24,403 uh, questions were filtered out, which contains both answered and unanswered questions from the original sample. As the interest of this uh, module is on unanswered questions, the data was sampled to create a subset of unanswered questions. The questions were labeled with the attribute accepted answer ID to label uh, with the records the accepted answer ID attribute as answered and others as not answered. Then the final data set of 6,147 unanswered questions remain. The following features were selected to uh, feed the module to find the reason for unanswered questions. This algorithm is used to filter out the title length from the question title of each question. Listed the top 50 most popular used technologies uh, of each question and sorted the uh, language array of the tag column in each row containing the technology listed. Extracted technology is recorded. Then the features were plotted against uh, each other to find out whether a correlation exists between them. Then the model was trained uh, using k-means clustering algorithm. The k-means algorithm is run with 100 iterations with two clusters and obtained 2,483 data points for cluster 0 and 2,434 data points for cluster 1. Once the clusters are plotted to visualize the results, clusters formed in uh, view count versus answer count and view count versus technology related to the question clearly shows two separate clusters. Principal component analysis and TSME were used to visualize the clusters as well as their popular dimensionality reduction techniques. Clustered data is analyzed to find the reason for the unanswered question. Pivot table was created to analyze the clusters. The average values of features in clusters were analyzed. The average value of favorite count and tag count remains almost same in two clusters. The view count decreases with answer count. The features affecting the question popularity like comment count and the score of the question increases the decrease and decreases along with the answer. It can be concluded that the cluster zero has the popularity question problem in the question for not being answered. The technology of the question feature shows some differences between the clusters. So the cluster one has the technology related problem for not getting answers. The asker has not assigned a technology or assigned a not related technology to the question in cluster one. Under the evaluation, the two techniques, elbow method and silhouette analysis, were used. The elbow method gives the idea about the number of clusters should be used in the model based on the sum of square distances in between data points and their respective centroids. The point where it flattens forming an elbow shape is in the graph is chosen as the number of clusters as the graph shows uh, it as, as the best number of cluster is 2. The silhouette score depicts the degree of separation with clusters. The coefficient is calculated by dividing the difference between the average distance of all points in the same cluster and average distance from all points in the closest cluster by the maximum out of them. Uh, the coefficient can take the values in the interval minus 1 to plus 1. And if it is 0, the sample is very close to the neighboring cluster. And if it is one, the sample is very far away from neighboring cluster. And if it is minus one, the sample is assigned to the wrong cluster. The silhouette analysis shows an optimal value for the number of clusters. The plots show that three and four are bad choices 
for number of clusters due to presence of negative area and high fluctuation in the width of silhouette plots. From the plots, number of clusters 2 has the best average silhouette score and when it is increased to 3 and 4, silhouette score gradually decreases. As a conclusion of this module, by analyzing the two clusters, it can be concluded that the questions separated into two different groups having reasons as low popularity to the question and technology-related problem in the unanswered questions. As a future work, analyzing the both unanswered questions and answered questions along with the same features to find whether the same reasons positively affect the answered questions to receive the answers can be done. Let's move to the third module, Exploration of Useful Comments in Stack Overflow. Crowdsourced programming knowledge is generated not only through questions and answers, but also through comments in Stack Overflow. Even though Stack Overflow contains commenting guidelines, users tend to post comments in unrecommended manners. Hence, there is a tendency for the useful comments to get ignored. An approach of conducting a qualitative analysis to manually label a total of 6,164 comments in Stack Overflow to the identify useful comments and review the identified useful comments. Preprocessing of derived useful comments using NLP based approaches and TF-IDF approach and engrams were used for feature extraction. Application of SVM classification algorithm and training the model for multi-class classification. Under the basis of following guidelines, the qualitative analysis was performed to label into useful comment categories. Most of the past researchers have done related to the text classification, including toxic comment classification in Wikipedia for already labeled comment data. Say, prediction of who will answer a certain question in Stack Overflow was done using machine learning based approaches. Machine learning based approaches promised high accuracy. In Stack Overflow, so far, comment classification was limited to usage of open coding approaches and manual analysis. This is the conceptual diagram of exploration of useful comments in Stack Overflow. The implementation consists of following steps, uh, performing qualitative analysis to extract the labels of useful comments, reviewing the extracted useful comments, and obtaining the final useful comments. Feature engineering to identify the suitability of external features. Preprocessing feature extraction using TF-IDF and engrams. Training and evaluation of initial SVM classification model. Under the qualitative analysis and review, deductive coding approach was used, single labeling, which implies multi-class classification. A review was performed to ensure the quality of the labeled data. Feature engineering was performed for the following features. And these are the feature plots that are used for the feature evaluation for external features. These, since these, there is a certain amount of overlapping, uh, these features were disregarded. The following steps were done under the pre-processing stage. Feature extraction was performed using TF-IDF and engrams, unigrams and bigrams, uh, were used as engrams. Initially, the model was trained with without parameters and hyperparameters. Hyperparameter tuning was done to identify the best combination of hyperparameters. Holdout method, confusion metrics, and classification report was utilized under the evaluation mechanism performed for the initial SVM model. An SPM model with five distinct kernels after hyperparameter tuning. Holdout method gave these accuracy levels in each step and summarized results are shown in this table. From this table, RBF uh, shows the highest accuracy. From confusion metrics was used to utilize to gain the insight of performance of classification model. This diagram shows the confusion metrics of linear kernel, this one for RBF kernel, polynomial kernel, sigmoid kernel, and pre-computed kernel. The table shows the summarized results set obtained by 
3 by 3 confusion matrix. This also shows the RBF kernel model has the total number of commins where true label equals the predicted label. Classification report measures the quality of predictions relevant to the classification algorithm, which provides the precision, recall, and F1 score and support as metrics. These slides show the respective classification reports obtained from the linear kernel, RBF kernel, polynomial kernel, and sigmoid kernel, and the pre-computed kernel. This table shows the summarized results of the classification report, and this table shows uh, the RBF has the highest accuracy and weighted average of precision and recall an F1 score as well. As the conclusion of this module, we can identify the RBF kernel of CM model is the best kernel which classifies useful comments in stack overflow as it promised the highest accuracy weighted average for recall and F1 score. Utilizing the multi-label classification approach to identify and classify the useful comments can be identified as further work. At last, it can be concluded that the user experience in Stack Overflow can be enhanced by analyzing the quality level of questions, investigating the reasons for the unanswered questions, and exploring useful comments posted in Stack Overflow using machine learning-based approaches. Thank you.